Well, I think everyone's got uh, synesthetic abilities to some extent. I know lately when, whenever I'm watching television or looking at a film or, or if I look at a film or a picture of somebody I can touch their face with my imaginary hands. It's lots of fun. I can feel their face in three dimensions. And I don't do that with my eyes exactly. I do it with my imaginary hands as well. That's a nice sensation. Um, I know that drawing helps draw out that ability. You know, being an artist, I think, uh, becoming an artist will help you develop your synest synesthetic senses. And it's just another sense or perception. I think we've all got it anyway. Some people like to imagine that it's only a genetic endowment and uh, the exclusive, uh, you know, preserve of a few people. But I think anyone can uh, have synesthetic experiences and I think they can be learnt as well. I know that once when I was colouring in a fish, it wasn't my own drawing, I was just colouring in a fish, uh, a Japanese fish drawing with a uh, felt pen. I could feel the fish, I could feel the fish on the page as the, uh, as the felt pen, the ink, uh, the coloured ink from the highlight pen coloured in the fish scales. I could feel those fish scales and uh, I've got a, a, an artist friend and she painted a lily and I could smell the lily when she was ill some years before that with anorexia I could uh, well yes her, her her paintings I could smell well <laughs> I could smell vomit you know when she was really sick and uh, I looked at some of her paintings I could smell vomit but she was ill then and uh, so we do have synesthetic experiences and uh, well, they can be good. They're not necessarily pleasant, but they can be good experiences. I've, uh, I was listening to Australian composer Carl Vine one evening, and his music was so tangy that I could smell passion fruit, and I could taste and smell passion fruit. That was very nice. Once I was listening to a piece of music and I could see swallows, swallows darting under a bridge, and, uh, I think all artists, you know, whether they're musicians, sculpt sculptors or writers or painters, they all use synesthesia in one way or another and they convey syn ideas synesthetically. And uh, uh, as I say, I think it can be learned from uh, practicing the arts and uh, just uh, looking at the television. I can touch people's faces now and feel their faces in three dimensions touch their beard or their hair, feel, feel the shape of their forehead. It's all an extra dimension and it's lots of fun.